Hi everybody, just a quick note before we dive into today's video, especially if you found this video because you want to learn more about Rocksmith Plus, I'm going to be walking you through the platform as well as my day-to-day -day process of learning how to play the piano with Rocksmith Plus, so I hope it inspires you to pick up your instrument and start practicing and I hope you enjoy this video. Hello everybody and a happy new year, I hope you're doing well, I hope you've had a fantastic start to 2024. I'm really really looking forward to the year ahead for for many different reasons, but I especially love that fresh mindset, the energy, the motivation at the beginning of the year. I think it's a great time to make plans, to pick up a new skill, maybe improve an old one that we might have neglected in the past. Just because I've been playing the guitar for 20 years doesn't mean that um, there isn't room for improvement, if you know what I mean. But there's one instrument in particular that I've been meaning to learn how to play properly for years now, and that is the piano. I do play the piano every now and then in my live streams and in my videos, but every time I play it, I really hope that no professional piano player watches me. So I want to learn how to play the piano properly. And as you guys might know, I'm not only very competitive, but I also love me a good challenge. So I'm going to try and learn how to play the piano in three days with the help of Rocksmith Plus. I'm so excited to let you guys know that Ubisoft and Rocksmith Plus are very kindly sponsoring today's video. But but as always, I'm going to be sharing my honest thoughts and opinions with you. So let's get started. Rocksmith Plus offers you a music learning platform that allows you to practice the guitar, the bass, and now also the piano in a very easy and fun way. It honestly feels like playing a video game, but with the benefit of learning an actual instrument. You can install the app on your phone, your tablet, or your computer and get started right away. You don't need any fancy equipment, no fancy gear, no audio interface, just you, your instrument and your device of choice. You can then pick a favorite song across multiple genres from their music library and get practicing. So if that sparks your interest, go click the link in the info box below and start your seven day free trial today. I'm so excited. I gotta admit, I had a little peek at the platform before, but I can't wait to explore it properly. Let's go. Alrighty, I've set everything up. I'm ready to go. I'm going to be using my iPad, by the way, and I'm currently on the home page of the platform. So the home tab, we've got Got four taps in total at the top of the page. One is home, one is play, one is search, and one is learn. So on the home tab, we've got some featured posts and some songs that Rocksmith recommends. One of them is If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. <laughs> and as much as I'd love to know how to play that song, um, it might be a bit too difficult for the start. So we might want to look for something a little bit more beginner friendly in the play tab. Here we've got some greatest hits and new releases, today's top worldwide songs. One of them is Misery Business by Paramore and if you've been following me for a while you'll know that Misery Business has a very special place in this channel's heart <laughs> so I'd love to play that, it might be a little bit too difficult. Words, never mind, <laughs> then we've got a search tab where you can search for songs and you can browse by genre or browse by difficulty, which I think is really cool. We've got basic, novice, proficient, advanced and expert. And the goal is expert, <laughs> but I think we're going to start somewhere between basic and maybe novice. Um, we'll see. And then last but not least, we've got the learn tab. And I love that tab because here we've got some video resources. So. Um, introductions to practice tracks or getting to know your instrument, posture and technique. Honestly, videos of all kind. And we even got video lessons. I think that's where I'm gonna start tonight. I'd love to just pick a song and get started straight away. But um, look at that, so many lessons. And I think that's where I should start. Just lay the foundation and then move on from there. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to pick a song. I've just connected my piano with the iPad through a MIDI cable. You don't need a cable, you can just use the integrated microphone, but I've got a MIDI cable here, so why not use it? And I'm about to start my first piano lesson. We're gonna start with playing in C position. Hi, I'm your host, Sarah, and to get Hi, started, Sarah. we're going to get our hands into C position. I'm just gonna pause right here. So. We've got a two minute introduction video and then I think it's gonna move on to the practice. And don't forget to have fun. I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. Amazing. <gasps> 
accuracy. <laughs> 100%. I might not be as basic as I thought. Five minutes later. Here's a little update. I am very much very basic. <laughs> of course, that first lesson is like pretty easy if you've played the piano before. And I gotta say my right hand is doing all right. My left hand is not as good as my right hand. So I definitely need to practice my left hand. And there are some lessons for that. Um, I've already completed quite a few lessons, but I need to practice my left hand. So I'm gonna do some harmony and some melody in both hands and some stretching and shifting. Yes. Oh no, 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 oh no. <laughs> and that is how it's done. 82%. Both hands will be the death of me, just saying. It's the same melody, that's good. Okay, I can do that. Amazing accuracy. Yes. <laughs> playing the same melody is a lot easier though than playing two different melodies at the same time. So you'll see me fail enough times in this video. Don't you worry. It is the next day, day two, and I've hit a bit of a wall last night, I'm not gonna lie. And now, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, no. <laughs> Help. I was practicing some finger crossing and some chords and it's not like I don't know how to play chords, but I just think I've been playing the piano in the most random way for the past 10 years or more. So I think it's gonna take some rewiring of my brain to get it right, the positioning of the hand and um, using the right fingers and the right chord variations. So. I think that's gonna take a little while, but I'm really looking forward to today. We're gonna to learn an actual song today, which is so much fun. And I've also had quite the revelation last night. I need to show it to you. I think I found the best feature ever. It is called Riff Repeater. And as the name suggests, you can repeat riffs instead of the entire song, which I just think is genius. You can select certain sections and it's just gonna repeat it over and over and over again. I'm gonna show you, you can just choose a section. Let's just go for the first 10 seconds for now. Then you can choose your active hand. So left, both hands or right. I'm gonna go for both and I'm gonna leave it at a speed of 80. Oh no. Okay, so I missed one note. And then it just rewinds and you can try again. Got it right this time. So that's just perfect. And you can just adjust a section. I'm sure I'm gonna use that a lot today. Okay, I think I found the first song that I wanna practice and that song's called Yellow by Coldplay. What I think is super cool is that you can adjust a difficulty target and when you hike it up to 100%, it shows you which skills you'll need. Uh <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna adjust that straight away. That just won't work for me. I'm gonna go with the right hand first. It was called yellow. No! The last chord transition threw me off. 73%, that's not great. But for the first try, I think it's okay. I'm going to do the riff repeater. It is just that last little section I can't get right. Oh no! Yes! Okay, I've been practicing for a little while and I have some thoughts to share. I'm very thankful for that feature where I can just practice the right hand first and then the left hand. I think I'd also recommend adjusting the song speed rather than the practice difficulty because you wanna know what you've signed up for. It's also quite helpful to stop every now and then and realize what you're actually playing because I think I'm just playing three chords over and over again. Look at the stars. Now I'm gonna practice the left hand. And everything you do. All right, my friends, I'm just gonna go for it. Everything you do. For you, I bleed myself. Okay, I messed up the ending. Great performance. That 
was your most <gasps> accurate playing yet. I'm gonna get this to 100%. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry right now. This is so ridiculous. I'm very emotional. It's just crazy how when you just start out, you're like, I'm never gonna be able to play that. And you're so overwhelmed and you don't know what to do. But this platform just breaks it down so easily for you that you can practice the right hand, practice the left hand, and then it all comes together and it just pushes you in the right direction. And you wanna keep going because you wanna master it. And I am very happy right now <laughs> i know it's just a basic song i can't wait to try out some more songs it is our third and final day i was so proud of myself yesterday and then i realized that my difficulty level was only up at 98 percent i think uh, when i performed yellow which is still quite high but it's not 100 percent. and also my accuracy was not at 100 percent. so this morning when I woke up, I was determined to improve my results. So I practiced for about 10 minutes and then I played it through one more time and I didn't film myself, but I do have some proof for you on screen right now. I got to 97% accuracy. It's not perfect, but this is music after all. It shouldn't be perfect. I'm gonna move my perfectionism aside, move on from yellow and try to find a song that is a little bit more piano heavy today. I've looked through some of the songs and I feel like the um, songs that are a little bit more piano heavy seem to be aimed at advanced players, which makes total sense. So I still picked a song by Sir Elton John, the piano mastermind himself, and I'm just gonna try and learn the chorus maybe, maybe just a tiny bit, like 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna go straight up to the riff repeater. That's too fast. I'm gonna go for, I don't know, 50% song speed. No, no, no. Another difficulty in the song is that I have to stretch my hands so much. <laughs> Five misses. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think my right hand is in desperate need of a break. I didn't even know my fingers could stretch that far. Um, so let's move on to the left hand. This is so difficult, but I kind of think that for me, it's easier to play it at a, or practice it at a full speed. Um, because I can't get the rhythm right when it's not at 100% speed. Oh my god. I'm just not sure both hands are gonna happen today. I got so sucked in, I don't even know what time it is, but my right hand is not doing well. This is so complicated. Um, I can't figure out the last chord but this is as good as it gets today. <laughs> I miss one note, but that's, that's okay. I'm done playing the piano for today, but I had so much fun. I may not have learned how to play The Rocket Man by Elton John, but I know how to play the right hand in the chorus. I know how to play the left hand in the chorus, and it's all gonna come together at some point, I'm sure. I'm such a visual learner, so I'm really enjoying the platform because of its notation, how it looks, how it feels, how it sounds. I just love it so much, but you can also switch to a sheet music mode if you prefer actual sheet music. I couldn't resist checking out the guitar side of the platform and it did not disappoint. I played Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. Those three words, if I lay here, if I just lay I would probably just recommend using headphones when you're using the inbuilt mic of your device. I think it's just gonna pick up the sound of the guitar a little bit better. But other than that, it was really, really fun. And then I also checked out Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day because of that intro that ding, 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 ding. Innocent can never last. <laughs> what? And 
and I fail, which just shows that I can also improve my guitar skills and maybe also my non-existent electric guitar skills. So I'm very much looking forward to it. I've completed my challenge. Now it's time for yours. Join the 60 day challenge to see how far you can come. Click the link in the info box below and start your seven day free trial today. Then just pick a song. There are over 7,000 songs in the library. So I'm sure you're gonna find your perfect song. But most importantly, have fun. Learning an instrument is a journey. It's gonna take a while. So be patient. It is definitely worth the practice. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much to Ubisoft and Rocksmith Plus for sponsoring this video. And I really hope to see you very soon. Mwah.